Hey guys, today's vlog is a bit of an experiment because I actually didn't know quite what to film today because during the daytime I was working pretty much. I was yeah, producing the film I was filming yesterday with Walter about the discard criteria of harnesses. It's, I think, a very cool video. You should check it out. You can check it out uh, if you like Seabed Research on Facebook, you will find it there. Or over my channel, you find the video also on YouTube. So that was the first thing I did today. And I didn't want to document that. Then I worked on my tax return for the state, which is such a boring work. I could also uh, have documented that, but I did it last year a little. And then a friend of mine, Emmanuel, he told me he quit uh, watching my vlog because of this tax oh, mess and because it just made him too frustrated to watch this. And it is very frustrating and I understand that. So I also didn't want to uh, document that. Then there was the Opto-O meeting and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna film at the Opto-O meeting and gonna show you what's new in the Opto-O network. But then there we were just working, like I helped um, producing a new article which is on the Opto-O homepage. Check it also out, Option 2.0, if you google it, Opto-O.org, it's in German, about uh, Kuba. I think it's an interesting article also with video and audio so check it out so there I also didn't film then after all and now I was here at home and working a little bit on social media and uh, publishing the, the, the video Walter's video and I was thinking okay now I have to film something and it's usually quite difficult with the vlog because I'm still experimenting what this vlog is all about. I still don't know it actually. It's this big ego trip to show myself and my life. It's this, I don't know, publishing my thoughts and my worldviews and what I see and of course thinking about you and trying to show you interesting things in Vienna that's all in all the purpose of this vlog yeah but there's still something missing there's still I think not like this path where am I going to or what actually do I want to achieve and that's something I've been thinking about a lot of course because if you think about my life I'm working for the Museum of Economics now for four years and I like the job and I like working for the museum because it has many advantages it is good earned money it's ethically well earned money I teach I can tell whatever I want I don't have to like go some sort of again agenda through like go through some agenda so I can basically, yeah, speak the truth. And that's very important for me to speak the truth also in a job, not for being paid for telling some lies or something like that. And I get very, I get very, very, very good feedback. Last week, the teacher said to me, hey, uh, there were so many uh, of, of you guys here already but you did it like really really excellent so really good feedback I'm very good in this job also but I feel it's not fulfilling it's good money I can live by it but it's not fulfilling anymore the job at the university this one is really cool I just finished finished this one semester I gave them the grades and that worked out very 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 good I think from my point of view it was 
not so easy it was a little bit challenging to go this step up like from pupils to actually students but i think i did also a good job there and i'm looking very forward to the next semester to the next students i'm going to change a little bit of this so it's interesting normally if people work at a university in, in austria they don't want to teach most of the people want to study want to find out new stuff or just want a decent job for me it's cool i want to actually teach it's interesting at university to teach it's cool to give a seminar at the university so for me it would be cool to do like both uh, trying to find new stuff and also teach at the same time so it would be interesting to go more into this direction and to yeah work more at university actually that would be really cool um, yeah so that was this and another goal is still the surfing instructor i wanna really find like maybe for the summer a job as a surfing instructor i mean i have the surf instructor license i've did it i have to renew part of the license this year actually because i have to do the the safety uh, license to save people out of the ocean uh, you have to renew it every two years so two years ago i did this license and now i have to renew it again so i'm gonna going surfing again this year ah, which is so awesome and i've saved some money already for this and i would really love to work in a surf camp in july in august maybe even longer if i would earn so much money that i could live by it i i would go for this so um yeah those are like certain goals but these goals are like foggy you know what i mean they're in this cloud up there and i'm not sure how to grab them and where to go maybe it's also the comfort zone and i'm still in this comfort zone and a bit scared to take this next steps out of this now job i have to university and to surf instructor maybe it's that what keeps me back i don't know if you have any advice on this and finding all this and finding your path please let me know in the comments of course the third thing is of course patron for change and i'm glad that helmut is coming back now from holidays so we can go on with patron for change building up a social startup was always a goal for me it was always something i wanted to do and it's cool that i can be part of patreon for change and i hope really that we can keep on going it's going to be very exciting in the next few days and weeks because yeah we have to see what are really now the next steps for patreon for change is it going to be possible to start off now or do we have to keep on going as we're going at the moment we will see so many exciting things happening this vlog was sort of an experiment i've vlogged now for almost 10 minutes without any cut and i think i'm gonna leave it like that that's the cool thing about vlogging doing it every day for now 501 days this is vlog number 501 that you really learn how to speak i guess also something important to learn all right guys i'm looking very forward to seeing you tomorrow although i don't see you you only see me hmm. <laughs>